Hi everyone, I'm Peter. And I'm Jess. And with the Bible in between us, we are the, the PB&J Show. You okay? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Okay, well, today we have a letter from Robbie. Jess, why don't you read it to us? Uh, yeah, 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 sure. Dear Peter and Chow. Dear Peter, oh, you, you read it. Uh, Sure, yeah, yeah, but uh, today's letter is from Robbie. What's up, Rob? Uh, Rob writes, uh, Dear Peter and Jez, so I've been going to my church for a while and I keep hearing that I need Jesus to be my savior and I need to ask him into my heart. But why? I'm a pretty good kid and it's not like I've ever stolen anything or even hit my brother. Why do I need Jesus to save me even though I'm a good person already? Thanks for your help, Robbie. That's a great question, Robbie. Ow, man. I don't know what's going on. I think I have a cavity. Oh, is that all? Why don't you just go to so, the... What? I'm just... You should probably go ah. see... Jez, you see... see? No. It's fine. But I won't say it. I won't say it, all right? Thank you. Dennis... Ouch! I do not need to go to that terrible place. I'm sure my tooth will eventually get better, or it will die, rot, and fall out of my mouth. I don't think that's how cavities work. Look, all my other teeth are fine. I'm healthy enough. Just let it be, and let's try to answer Robbie's question. Uh, actually, I think your issues are more similar to Rob's. You see, you both need to admit that there's a problem. With you, it's apparently poor dental care. And with Rob, it's more of the fact that we're all sinful. Well, yeah, we've all sinned. I think Adam and Eve shows us that pretty clearly. That's it, that's it. Yeah, let's talk about Adam and Eve today. Here you go, Rob. You see, because of the choice of Adam and Eve, sin entered the world. And because we are all their children, we are born sinful. So, Rob, it doesn't matter that you feel like you're a good person or not. One sin is enough to keep us from God. But even though sin got in the way of God's ideal plan for humanity, God didn't abandon humanity. Ow. He promised Adam and Eve a savior was coming. One that would restore the friendship between God and humanity. So, just like Jez needs to admit he has a bad cavity and needs to go see a dentist and take care of it, we need to admit that we are sinners and need Jesus to be our savior. Wait, this is weird. Normally, don't I make the point? Yeah, but this is my week, baby. Step aside. When you become a Christian, you become a child of the God of grace. But what is grace, though? Grace is receiving love we cannot earn. That's the crazy thing. Adam and Eve disobeyed God, but God still took care of them and loved them. Even when Adam and Eve lied to God about what they had done, he made them clothes to take care of them. We sin all the time. We sometimes disobey our parents, we hurt our brother or sister, and can even call other people names. Yeah, we don't want to share with others. We lie for others' approvals. We even take things that are not ours. It is so natural for us to be unkind and be sinful but God wants something different for us. When we go to God with our sin, he doesn't magically erase the consequences of our sin, but he'll always be there to watch over us. That's how much God loves us. So Rob, even though you do need a savior because of your sin, you should never let that sin keep you from God. This week, our big idea is God still wants a friendship with me even when I disobey him. Wow, that's awesome, Peter. Not only did you answer Robbie's question, I think you inspired me to go to the dentist. Hmm, that's great. But if you change your mind, I might have a solution that would save you the trip. What's that? Well, I think that's our show. We'll see you next time. Come, come back here. Josephine.